Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. I want to tell you about some major drama that's happening at Starbase right now, because we all know what's happening with Elon Musk, all of his political stuff going on, all of the stuff that's going on with Doge or whatever. But one of the things that he's been neglecting is SpaceX and being at Starbase. And we've all seen this before. He's done this before. He's done this numerous times where he goes off and does another project. You know, he'll go at, go to Tesla for a few months and everybody at Starbase is working hard and uh, they're trying to get the next Starship to launch. And then Elon shows up to give him a little pep talk and then everything seems to be okay. But I want to share with you something that I found on X. And this is telling. This is huge for people at SpaceX. Check this out. So Dylan Small is a person that works at SpaceX at Starbase. Okay, Dylan is part of the team down there. And this is his tweet. The team down on Starbase is giving everything they have working, long hours, pouring themselves into every launch, every milestone, but the atmosphere has shifted. Morale is low. People are burned out and starting to feel like they're being left behind. Your presence used to drive a fire in the team. People were inspired, united, and proud to be part of something bigger. Now the energy is fading. People come back and walk, or please come back and walk the floor. Talk to the techs, the welders, the crane ops, QA inspectors. Let them see their work matters to you. Remind them what we're building and why. Hear what they have to say and show them that you do care. Everyone still believes in the mission. They need you to help reignite the spark. There are many matters that need your attention to Mars. So, Directly at Elon Musk. This this tweet was directly at Elon Musk. Dylan is the Space Launch Systems R&D aircraft mechanic at Starbase for SpaceX, for Starship. So Dylan is legit. Um, you can see a picture of Dylan at Starship. Listen, Elon Musk has a lot of things going on. We all know what's going on, political stuff going on. And that's all over with. That's all behind her, the political stuff. But that was costly to the people that pour their hearts into Starship and pour their hearts into this project that will, according to Elon Musk, keep the light of humanity lit when it doesn't exist here on Earth anymore. So what does a good leader do at this point? Do they ignore this person? Do they walk away and let somebody else handle it? Um, this is what Elon responded. I will be there next week. There you go. Um, everything seems to be okay. And also Elon will be doing a talk before the next Starship launch, which is going to be somewhere on May 21st, 2025, between 20, uh, 330 and, uh, 134Z. On May 22nd, 2025, rocket launch operations are scheduled to take place near Boca Chica, Texas. So we know somewhere around the 21st, 22nd of this month, SpaceX will be launching Starship. So around the 19th, 20th, we're going to get a talk from Elon on X from Starbase. He's going to ignite the fire at Starbase again. He's going to lift these people up that feel like they've been beaten down. They're working hard. It's really hot down there. And they put their heart and their soul into this project. And this is uh, years in the making. Some of these people have been here for a decade. They've been here for their whole career. And Elon had a side project with Doge. He left them behind. Let me know what you think about that. You think it's a like a bad move to leave all these people behind because getting to Mars for Elon has always been like the top priority. That's always been the thing he's been working on forever. And that was keep the light of consciousness alive, keep it going. And then he got sidetracked by this Doge stuff. I thought he can make a difference. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below about him working with uh, Dylan Small and the team over there at Starbase. And coming back to say what he needs to say to reignite the fire with all these people. Also, you know what? I was checking out the stats and the back end here on uh, YouTube, and I noticed something really weird. 
that around 57% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So that leaves 43% of you that are subscribed. And I want to say thank you to you for doing that. But the 57% of you, most of you also have watched numerous of my videos. So I'm going to make you a promise for the next 10 years. You got me here on YouTube for free. You got 10 years of this. And if you like this content, I ask you for one second of your time. That's it. One second for 10 years of mine. Hit the subscribe button. That's it. If you want to give two seconds, hit the thumbs up, give a couple more seconds, leave a comment down below. That's it for engagement. Let's grow this channel together. Let's be this community. But I just asked for one second of your time for 10 years of mine. So let's get back to the Elon stuff, okay? So Elon has a way of dipping out sometimes. He has so many things going on. He may have to work on Cybertruck for a little while. He may have to work on uh, another project for a while, like the Doge stuff. Maybe he has Starbase going on and he can't work on the Tesla stuff. He's a Tesla CEO. People are not happy with him because of all the Doge stuff and all the political stuff. And at one point, they were actually thinking about replacing Elon. There were rumors about people replacing Elon at Tesla. They can't really do that at Starbase or with SpaceX because it's a privately held company. They can't really force them out. But Tesla is a different beast because they're publicly traded. They're not privately owned. So they have stock. They have a board. Um, could they force them out? Um, not that I know of. Not that I know of. There's a possibility, but I don't think they're going to, uh, especially with where he's at now and where the company is now. But something like SpaceX, if something's happening at SpaceX, I mean, it, it seems like the people at SpaceX should be able to reach out to Elon, not on X, man. Like somebody should text this guy or like, like go direct line of communication. So that's where it all falls apart. There's no direct line of communication between Elon and the workers, because there's nobody in between that's talking to the workers and listening. That's the important part. Listen to these people, man. Okay, they work for you, but still, they're making your vision come to reality. They're working their asses off. They're destroying their lives because they want to make people go to Mars. They want to build this ship, and they want to get people to Mars. Get your asses to Mars, but please... Be nice to people at Starbase. That's what needs to happen. Somebody in the management structure is not doing their job because they're not telling Elon. They're not telling Elon that this stuff needs to be fixed. These people's morale? Think about it. If you are building the ship that's going to send people to Mars, how much confidence would you have in your abilities? You're doing something nobody else is doing. You're like way up here. You're the best of the best. And you still get beaten down. And then you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to that could tell Elon or somebody higher up. So there's a break. There's a break somewhere. There's something that's stopping people from the workers like uh, Dylan here that are working at Starbase. They can't talk to somebody. So there's something going on there that they're not talking about. They don't feel powerful enough in their in their positions where they can talk to somebody a little bit higher up than them and be like, hey man, we're beaten down, we're broken. Or maybe they did. And then, you know, all right, gonna give this a shot again, lol, Dylan. Dylan says again. Why do you have to do it again? Why wasn't it fixed the first time? You know? It seems like this is where either the company can shift from people that love what they do. They absolutely love what they do down there. People love what they do down there. They are the best in the world at this. And they love what they do. But are they willing to make that sacrifice if they're not being treated well? Uh, the 
your presence used to drive a fire in the team. And re- we all remember this, right? You and me, we, you and me, we remember this Elon back in the day when he would go on every podcast, every show, every talk that he did was about Starship. Everything. It was like Tesla, Starship, et cetera. And the talks that he would give started becoming pretty normal. He would say the same thing every time. And it would turn out to be um, just very standard, you know. And these talks at Starbase, they need to happen more often. Just for the team, not us. Like, we don't matter, really. You know, the team is the pe- those are the people that are going to send people to Mars. So they matter. Talk to them. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm getting riled up here. <laughs> I just think people like this, don't get, don't take advantage of people like Dylan. Dylan, I got your back, bro. I got your back. I'm sure everybody else that's watching this has your back too. We want you to succeed, Dylan. We want the team down there to succeed. So please, Elon, go talk to them and rile them up. Get them hyped up. Give them raises or something. Come on, make them feel important because they are. Give them more money. Give them more whatever they need. Give them whatever they want. You have all the money. So anyway, let me know what you think. Sub to the channel. Takes a second. I'll give you 10 years. I've already been doing it for five. So you got me for 10 more. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you in the next one.